Hello and welcome to another video. Um, the video today is going to be on uh, a new charging system uh, I have now for my Bofeng's UV5R radio. Now some of you will probably know already that um, I've got quite an attachment to the Bofeng radios. I've been doing uh, reviews on these for quite some time now. Um, I do have quite a lot of them as well. Um, slightly different models but the Bofeng's um, I really do think quite a lot of them. Um, not going to go into too much, this isn't going to be a review video on the Bofeng radios, but one of the issues that I've noticed and I've had uh, has been the charger for it. Now a lot of people have had the same issues and I've seen a lot of videos on YouTube with people making special charging leads, changing the adapters inside and uh, basically doing their own uh, little modifications. This is the charger that we have here, a little sitting charger radio clips in like so. The charger for this one requires 10 volts so if you wanted to plug a cigar lighter into this and into your car you're going to struggle because it's just not going to allow you to do so without doing some damage. Um, but what some people have done is to build a little circuitry inside just to enable you to do that. A much easier way I found was that looking on eBay I found some USB charger leads turn that off. So I bought myself six of them because I have about six radios that I wanted to use with this new device. So inside the packet the lead USB to plug that fits nicely in the back of the charger. The lead itself seems quite good quality it's not a very thin wire which sometimes they do become quite thin and it's not a bad length to be fair that's not too bad at all now I don't know whether there's some sort of circuitry inside this USB plug that will just bump up the uh, the voltage a little bit just to charge this now obviously by increasing the voltage you're going to lose a little bit of current so it could well be that this takes longer to charge than if you were to use uh, the regular charger plug that comes with it just to show you this is the plug that comes with it now what I've done, I've connected it to um, a little adapter that came with the radio just to uh, enable it to work on the, uh, the UK plugs that we have and, and I put some insulation tape around it just so it holds it together so I don't keep on pulling it out and, and, uh, and losing it. But that does the job quite well for me up until now and for the house certainly it's not so much of an issue but I do like to take them out and about with me and it's great to be able to charge them up in the car when doing out and about work or going camping, um, holidays, whatever, um, it'd be a great advantage to be able to charge it with the USB. So what I wanted to do was have it so we can charge either via solar or this portable battery pack. Now this claims to be, I think, 300, no sorry, yeah, it's 10,000 milliamp power battery inside here. There's no way that's going to be a 10,000 milliamp power battery. Uh, but it does give me two outputs, one at 1 amp and one at one, uh, 2.5 amps, uh, or is it 2.1 amps? Um, and it's, uh, it, it lasts really well. I can charge an iPhone with this one battery uh, about four times um, for pretty much flat to fully charged. So this has worked really well. The solar panel on the top isn't really worth anything at all. It'll take a year to charge it just once. but. Uh, plug into your computer and you can charge it. So the idea is that I want to be able to plug this into there, like so, and then plug this end into the cradle for the radio. Good that it's lit. Put the phone in, the radio in rather, and it's lit up. So that's telling me it's charging. So there you go, that, that, that seems to be working. Um, I don't know how fast it's going to charge and I suppose that will be my next test to see uh, what the, uh, the charge rate is like. But if you go onto eBay, do um, a search for UV5R charger leads uh, or anything to do with that really, then you'll see these. And from what I can say at the moment, um, they're well worth having. Probably safer than using the chargers that come with it if you're you know, in the UK um, and for portable use especially. Um, then these leads are certainly the way to go, I'd suggest. Uh, and being able to plug them into your computer whilst to charge, which is great. 
Uh, if you're doing an away field day uh, with one of your amateur radio clubs, again, you can plug them into laptops to charge or portable power supplies. Um, you've got a lot of more options open to you. So that's it. Just wanted to show you that. Um, I'll uh, do another video, possibly, um, coming up soon. If you remember, not so long back, I did a video on my everyday carry car kit. Now, this is from the perspective of the electronic and the gadget and communication side of things. Well, that needs updating. So if you want to see that video, which I can do uh, shortly, uh, drop a comment down below. Let me know what you want me to put into it. Let me know what you want to see. It's going to include things like this uh, PTT radio. That's going to be in it. Um, it's already got some portable power supplies, but certainly the radios that I carry, which I have a few of these in there, um, I'll be able to now replace with these USB leads as well. So uh, there's a few other additions as well, which I'll go through. Let me know in the comments below what you want to see, um, and if I get enough comments, then I'll, uh, I'll certainly do a video on that. But apart from that, that's it for today. Thank you for watching. Uh, any comments, any suggestions, please leave them in the, uh, in the box below, and I'll catch you on my next video.